news for the 350,000 Americans who are living with multiple sclerosis. A pill to fight the disease may, be, may not be far off. As NJN News health and medical correspondent Sarah Lee Kessler reports, three new studies are raising hope. So these uh, are the lesions, these are the scars of MS. They're Multiple white. sclerosis, or MS, is a devastating autoimmune disease that attacks the brain and spinal cord, affecting a patient's gait, balance, coordination, and memory. Spread your fingers apart and don't let me squeeze. There is no cure, and currently the only medications to reduce the progression and severity of symptoms are drugs that have to be injected every other day or infused periodically. For years, doctors and patients have dreamed of a more convenient treatment option, a pill. Now, according to three new studies published in last week's New England Journal of Medicine, that time has arrived. Phase three clinical trials on the first two oral drugs Drugs designed to treat MS, fingolimod made by Novartis, and cladribine made by Merck look promising. They decrease the relapse rate of MS. They decrease the rate of deterioration in patients with MS. Dr. Stuart Cook, who directs the MS Center at UMDNJ New Jersey Medical School, was co-author of the cladribine study. He says both oral drugs have a good short-term safety profile. This, I think, is a big advance uh, for patients uh, in terms of uh, um, a good uh, risk-benefit ratio. But both pills can produce dangerous side effects because both lower immune responses. Those side effects can range from a rare, deadly form of herpes infection to the adult form of chickenpox, known as shingles. If someone is doing well on the injectables, um uh, we, we would maybe prefer for them to stay on those injectables uh, why at uh, risk uh, side effects that we don't know about. Touch my finger with your finger, touch your nose. Shermaine Daniel, a 29-year-old doctor, had to quit her medical residency because of her MS. She didn't participate in the study, but says if the pills win FDA approval, she'd like to try them. Right now, she gets monthly infusions with Tisabri. I'm nervous because, like you said, every Every drug comes with side effects, but if I can take this drug, an oral pill that I only take once or twice a year, I think that would be fabulous. The Merck pill, Cladribine, is actually taken eight to ten times a year. Thingolamid, the Novartis drug, is swallowed daily. Dr. Cook says FDA Four, eight, approval three, could seven. come by the end of the year. Oh, six, seven, Sarah Lee Kessler, NJN News, Newark.